Hi, I'm Greg Williams, and in this presentation, I'm going to be talking to you about the benefits of Saccharomyces boulardii. I'll repeat that again for people that aren't sure how to pronounce it. It's Saccharomyces boulardii. And as a nutritionist and in our health practice, this has become one of our most used, most popular supplements. Uh, even though a lot of people you know, haven't even heard of it or aren't sure what it is. Um, it's been used for over 50 years though and, and during that time a huge number of studies have been carried out that show its benefits. So we'll be going over some of those in this presentation. Before we get into it I need to legally just make a quick disclaimer. I'm not here to provide medical advice and you shouldn't consider it as such. If you've got any concerns at all you should consult with your doctor. Okay so what is Saccharomyces boulardii? So although it's generally referred to as being a probiotic, it is actually a non-pathogenic yeast microbe. Essentially, it's a type of fungus. So a quick history lesson, it was discovered by chance by Henry Boulard, a French scientist who was visiting Indochina in 1920. And while he was there, he noticed that some locals weren't succumbing to cholera, like many, many other people were around that time. And when investigating it, he realised that these people were drinking a tea made from the skins of mangosteen and lychees. And when looking into that further, he was able to identify the yeasts, um, which is we now know as Saccharomyces boulardii, in the skins of those fruits, and uh, was able to determine that it was that yeast that was providing the protective properties that meant these people weren't getting sick. Uh, and so the yeast was ultimately named after him. Now, Saccharomyces boulardii contains certain properties that allow it to reach your gut intact and alive, unlike most other probiotics which are killed by the stomach acid, and thereby it provides your gut with important compounds that can help it to work more efficiently. Uh, it can also help to protect your good bacteria during antibiotic use, as well as helping to support secretory IgA levels, which are an important part of the immune system and help to protect you against picking up bugs and, 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 and infections. It's a non-sporing yeast, which means the chances of it relocating to other areas of the body from, from the gut where it could cause problems is reduced. And essentially it has many uses which are listed on the screen there. In terms of diarrhea, it's been shown there are certain compounds within Saccharomyces boulardii that can reduce how long a person suffers diarrhea for, while also potentially helping to prevent its reoccurrence in the future. It's also been shown that it can shorten the time a child suffers diarrhea for, as well as helping them to regain the lost weight much quicker. Studies carried out also show that taking Saccharomyces boulardii when taking a course of antibiotics can be beneficial as it may help to reduce the risk of developing antibiotic associated diarrhoea. Uh, and it can also prove useful in the treatment of diarrhoea when traveling. From an IBS perspective, there is some evidence to suggest that Saccharomyces boulardii can be useful in the treatment of patients with diarrhoea predominant or mixed type IBS. And a study on rats treated with ibuprofen showed that Saccharomyces boulardii helped to reduce the number of gastric ulcers in their stomach. From a perspective of IBD, inflammatory bowel disease, studies on mice have shown benefits whereby it is linked with helping to reduce inflammation, uh, intestinal permeability, and also helping to prevent colonization of the intestines by candida albicans in mice with colitis. Uh, studies have also shown that it may help to reduce the number of bowel movements experienced by people with Crohn's or colitis. Clostridium difficile is certainly an area where Saccharomyces boulardii is used a huge amount. Uh, studies have shown that it can be very effective at helping to fight Clostridium difficile infections. And similarly with H. pylori, Saccharomyces boulardii has been shown to have a positive effect on patients suffering uh, with the infection. It can also provide benefits for people suffering with other bacterial, fungal, parasitic infections. For example, studies have shown that it may reduce the number of E. coli found in children and can help to treat blastocystis hominis infections as effectively as certain commonly used antibiotics. And then the final three points there, it may assist in, in tackling obesity and or diabetes, it can support liver health and could also help to prevent coronary artery disease. In terms of dosage, the typical dosage would be one to three capsules per day if 
if you were taking 250 milligram capsules that provided 5 billion CFU per capsule. So for most people, one to three capsules is, is appropriate. Obviously consult with your doctor if you feel you need to on all of these. Uh, but some people may benefit from going up to a maximum of six capsules per day. So in particular, if someone's fighting a Clostridium difficile infection, there has been cases where people have benefited from going up to six capsules per day. In terms of its safety, it's generally considered safe to use uh, when used in appropriate doses. Uh, it's, there's not currently sufficient enough evidence on, on confirming safety for, for pregnant women. Uh, it may not be suitable for immune compromised patients and anyone with a yeast allergy should certainly approach with, with caution as well. But otherwise it's generally considered safe to use. So hopefully that's helped and given you a good overview.